Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a little get ready with me. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. And also I wanted to make sure and play with this little Stila Shimmer and Glow Eyeshadow in Pigale, if that's how you pronounce it. It will be linked down below, of course. But this is in my November Throwback Thursday, but it was also in my October one. I rolled it over and I said that I was gonna use this in a video. And so I thought I would just use it in a get ready with me so that we could just kind of chat while I use it. And I also thought that I would use some of my Makeup Geek singles, which I have a lot of. I have, some of them are the uh, foiled ones that I love. And then some of them are just like the regular ones. And these don't get as much attention as the rest of my collection as far as eyeshadows go just because I have I mean I've talked about this before but you know with palettes and everything like that they just don't get used as much I don't know that I'm really going to be purchasing many single eyeshadows going forward as much as I enjoy them I just it's easier to like pull out a palette I get excited about palettes I want to buy new palettes and I don't know it's just I would sooner buy like unique singles if that makes sense so like you know something like a foiled shadow or something from some other brand you know that was really special like I'd gotten some from Luxie um some of these that are just like really unique and like duochrome so I'd buy those but like maybe not so much like just regular single shadows I don't know I may eat my words at some point but anyway I just thought that I would use some of these today with with this shadow to kind of show you how I'm going to use this because these shimmer and glow ones are different than the glitter and glows. They are really just, I'll swatch it for you so you can see it's so beautiful. It's just a deep color so I don't use it all that much. It makes the look be pretty bold typically. So that's what it looks like, absolutely gorgeous. And it's, it's a perfect fall color and so that's why I had included it in this, in these throwback Thursdays and so Let's go ahead and get started. And what I'm gonna do is kind of like a, I'm gonna use this color and then also kind of like a, a goldy color. Like I think I'm gonna use this shade right here that's called, this is a foiled one in Untamed, which is like a gold, it's like a yellowy, orangey gold kind of. Um, so I think those will go really nicely together and it kind of is is sort of like, almost gonna look like my college school colors, which are garnet and gold. So it kind of has that theme. That was sort of what I was thinking when I was pairing those colors together. But anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna start with Peach Smoothie. Uh, it's just a classic color. I'm gonna start with that and we'll kind of go from there. And I'm gonna be really like, go all over the place with this color. I already primed my eyes, if you can tell. I'm trying to think the last time I did a get ready with me, like what did I chat about? Um, you know, usually in these get ready with me is it's kind of become a little bit of a joke, but I like always talk about TV shows. So we'll, we can kind of talk about some of those, but I think I was also talking about like my health and fitness, really weight loss journey. And I don't want to get too much into that again, because I feel like I kind of talked about that a lot last time, but I do want to update you guys. So I've been doing, I've been doing Weight Watchers since mid-July. That was when I started back up with Weight Watchers and I've done it in the past, but I started their new program because they've got, you know, they change up their program all the time, which I think is great. It keeps with the times and it makes sure that, you know, it's consistent with, you know, science, you know, as, as everything evolves in that way. And I really love the new program. Uh, if you're curious about it, you can watch one of my older Get Ready With Me's um, or you could just do your research. But I, I love their new program. It works super well for me. It's something that I really do feel like I could keep doing forever. It's a lifestyle. And I just think that, I just think it's worked so well for me. So since mid-July, and now it's the beginning of November, I've lost 20 pounds, which is pretty crazy because while I definitely was overweight and I needed to lose weight, <laughs> and I'm not where I wanna be just yet, I was not obese, I was never obese. So, and I was not like severely overweight either. And so that's really crazy to me that I've lost that much in this this short of a time, honestly. I don't think that it's really been that long. So uh, I do think that that is pretty, pretty good. I feel really good about that. And um, all right, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Chickadee, which is just kind of building up the color in the crease. 
and I'll be a little more precise, not quite as like crazy with it. That's worked really well for me. I've also been doing a lot of exercise and I'm doing like beach body workout programs. I was doing lift four. I really loved that one. I finished that one that was eight weeks long. I'm now in the second week of this one called shift shop. And so far I'm enjoying that. So I've been doing all of that and you know, I've lost all that weight and it feels really, really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Desert Sand, which is even a little deeper maybe. It's just a little bit of a different tone, I think. It's not really deeper, it's just like a different tone. I'm gonna go in with that one a little bit. And then the other thing that I've been doing is I've been cooking a lot, which I think is honestly, I was saying to my husband last night, I, I don't think I could be, I don't think I would have been nearly as successful with my weight loss and everything. And I would have struggled much more if I wasn't cooking as much because that makes a huge difference. Making recipes that, you know, are still healthy but taste good. If I was eating out more, if I was eating more processed foods, like it would just not, I was not, I would not be as successful. Like it would have been a, I'm sure I still would have lost weight if I was like, you know, counting my points and everything, but I would have, it would have taken me a lot longer. And it's been just coming off you know, pretty easily with all of the exercise and the good food that I'm eating. So I just wanted to kind of update you on that. And by the way, if you're curious, um, as far as cooking, I, I almost exclusively have been cooking Skinny Taste recipes. It's a blog and she has some cookbooks and I recently got her newest cookbook called One and Done. So I've been cooking a lot from that, but I save all of her recipes from like her website on Pinterest and her recipes have the Weight Watchers points on them. So it just saves me a lot of time because I'm able to like plan out my recipes for the week and I don't have to calculate all the points because it makes it a little bit difficult. Like you can't just put in the nutritional information because of certain items like chicken breast and eggs and things like that that are zero points. So it does, you have to like enter all of the ingredients. And so it's, it's a whole thing. So I love that that saves me a lot of time and her recipes are really good. So I just enjoy them. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in to a deeper shade. I believe this is Cocoa Bear, which is one of my favorites. Yeah, Cocoa Bear, let me show you. It's a very warm, chocolatey brown. And I'm gonna put that like a little more targeted on the outer corner and into the crease. As far as TV shows go, I think I had mentioned last time that my husband and I were uh, re-watching Game of Thrones, but we're kind of taking our time with it because the new season, we're we're already up to date. We're just like re-watching it. <laughs> um, the new season, you know, and then the last season is coming back in April of next year. So there's a lot of time. So we don't want to like finish it too soon like of rewatching it because then we want to rewatch it again before the new season and like there won't be time. So we're kind of taking our time with it. And so then we started watching um, True Blood, which I've seen before all the way through. It's been a long time though. I think I've only seen it once through before now. And, but my husband had never seen it. So we're watching that and I forgot how good it was, but like it definitely gets kind of a little weird and it kind of like gets not as good, I don't know. And so I feel like we're getting close to that point where it starts to kind of go down a little bit. Like it, we're still in that point where I'm like, yeah, it's weird, but like, it's really good. And maybe it's just been a while since I've watched it, but I don't know, I'm just feeling like it's so good. I'm pretty sure we just, just finished season four. So if you've seen it, maybe that helps a little bit for you to know kind of where we are. Um, you know, I don't necessarily want to give anything away, even though it's been, I mean, it was on a long time ago now. Still, like, obviously, like, people haven't seen it, and my husband hadn't seen it. So I don't want to ruin it if you haven't seen it, because it is really, really good. Okay, and then I'm going to take some of Cherry Cola, um, which is kind of, like, purpley, but it has a little bit of that, like, reddish in it. I'm going to put that, like, right on the outer part. That will kind of meld into that color a little bit. It'd be interesting to see like, if I dislike the direction that it ends up going as much the second time around as I did the first time around. Cause like, I really do love the show and I I don't know, it got kind of weird and I, I don't know if that I was super thrilled with how it ended. Like, I don't remember being super thrilled, but it, again, it's been so long. So I don't know, it's been a long time since I watched it. Let me know though, if you've seen it and what you think.
So now we'll use this shadow and I'm just gonna use the applicator. I'm just gonna be careful and then I will clean up the edges with like a smaller little brush. I'm just gonna kind of put it like right there because then I wanna put the other shadow that I was talking about, the gold one, on the inner part. See how beautiful that is? Oh, it just adds an intensity to the look and if you wanted to put something on it, you certainly could. Okay, I'm gonna go in and fix that. I have to get close to my mirror, sorry. And you totally could, you know, just use it as a base. You could use it on its own. You could really do whatever you want with it. It's, I sort of think of it as like a liquid pigment. So you would kind of use it in the same way that you would a pigment, although you wouldn't necessarily use a pigment as a base, but it's just a more intense type of shadow, you know, than if you just like used just a regular eyeshadow. But the nice thing about this, because it's like a sort of like metallic shadow, like you could use it as a base, like you would like any cream type of shadow, like while it's kind of tacky, but then it will dry and it will last really well. So now I'm gonna, and I'll blend the edges in a minute, but I think I'm gonna first go in with some glitter glue, just because like for me, I've talked about with shimmers, I like to use a glitter glue. And I am gonna use my fingers, you don't have to, you can definitely use a brush but I'm not gonna wet it because um, I don't think that they actually need it. They are just beautiful, especially if you use your fingers, like you don't need, look how beautiful that is. Oh my God. And obviously it helps that I put down the glitter glue, but still just beautiful. I love those foiled shadows. They deserve more love. They're so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend some of those edges a little bit. <clears throat> you could go back in with the cream shadow to fix it, but I'm just gonna go into some of these shades here to kind of help blend, um, just cause I feel like it, I guess. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on with that uh, cherry cola shade that I used, just to kind of help blend some of those edges and then we'll blend over here as well. I'm gonna go back into I think, Desert Sands on a pointed brush to just kind of blend some of these edges. Oh, and also, have you been watching This Is Us? I just love that show. It's so good. Oh, I love it so much. That is one of my favorite shows, and that's a show that, because we don't have cable, we just, um, we just have like basic cable, you know? Um, and we use like Hulu and Netflix and stuff. But this is us, we watch live. <laughs> like my husband and I watch it live together when it's on because it's our favorite. That's all I'm gonna do right now for the eyes. So I'm gonna start on the face. I'm gonna kind of move through the face pretty quickly though. I'll link everything down below, but I just, this is already getting really, really long. So I don't wanna waste too much of your time. So um, I'm gonna kind of skip some of this. I just did my foundation and concealer, powder, all that stuff. I'll link whatever I use down below, but I just figured that was kind of boring. We could just skip that. So anyway, This Is Us, we absolutely love and just so enjoying seeing where it goes, but it's hard because like they just tease you with like these little things and then it takes forever to like actually find out like the secrets and what's going on and you know, like at the beginning of the season, or no, the end of last season, actually, um, you know, Randall and his daughter are going to go see her. And you don't know who that is. And then they sort of cover it a little bit in the beginning of the season, because like Randall calls Toby and you're like, what is that about? Like, is it about Kate? Like, so, but then there's so many episodes where they don't even talk about it. And so you're like, I don't know. Um, cause there's just so much that they cover in that show and it's like, it's so good. Oh, even like the ones that are like a little bit more like on the slow side, they're still good. Like the acting is so good and like learning about Jack and like Vietnam and it's just such a good show. I love it so, so much. Tell me what your favorite show is down below. Like a show that's like on right now. Cause like, I don't watch that many that are on right now. Like I talked about that I watch Riverdale 
and I watch This Is Us, but like other than that, like I don't really watch anything current. Like I watch YouTube and just like older shows. <laughs> That's just kind of what I do. My daughter is turning two this week. When I don't know when exactly this video is going up. It's possible that it's going up on her birthday. And if it does, because her birthday is a Thursday. So if it does, I'll, I'll pop that on the screen or something. Um, but it's just crazy to me that she's turning two. Like, you know, it's one of those things like it time goes by so fast but at the same time like I feel like she's been in our lives forever so it's like a really weird like double thing you know like they say um the days are long but the years are short which is so so true and it's just it's crazy to me I mean I don't really remember being pregnant but at the same time like doesn't feel like it was that long ago she's like a little person now you know like it's just crazy to me you know you can have like full-on conversations with her like it's just it really is pretty nuts you know she's just growing up so fast and her birthday is this week but we're actually not having her birthday party for a little bit because my parents don't live here my sister doesn't live here and so and so we're gonna do her birthday party the weekend before thanksgiving so that family can be in town for it and also my husband's brother and his family, they live in LA, so they'll be in town for Thanksgiving. So it'll be really nice because then everyone can be there. All right, I'm just gonna do my brows real quick and I'll be back. All right, so let's finish off the eyes. I'm gonna put, I love this color and it will go nicely. I think this is the Marc Jacobs liner and fine wine. It's a beautiful like, red color and if you don't like this kind of shade in your waterline you don't have to but i love it i think it looks really pretty okay so i'm gonna take <clears throat> cherry cola on a little teeny teeny brush that like the same brush that i was using to blend out before and i'm gonna put that right there about halfway anyway so for her birthday party we're doing like a little petting zoo and it's gonna be baby animals and she is just gonna be so happy she loves animals and she loves babies. <laughs> so it's kind of perfect. I'm just gonna take a little bit of, I'm gonna mix peach smoothie and cocoa bear just so that it's kind of like a mid-toned color. Just to kind of buff that out a little bit. And it's really fun because like a lot of her friends are coming. Like I invited her whole class at school and it's just gonna be really fun. And it's fun too because like I haven't met a lot of the parents yet of the kids. And so this will be a really fun way to get to know some of the parents. I just think it's gonna be so much fun. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, a really nice mascara. Let's see how well I can do. I can't really, I don't think I can really talk that well while I do this, but. I'll do my best. So yeah, it's kind of crazy that she's turning two. Like, although at times she feels like older than two to me because she is really, really smart. Like I know that I'm biased because she's my daughter, but she is really, really smart. I mean, she learned how to count to 10 a long time ago now and she's been doing the ABCs for a while. Like, I mean, I don't know, I feel like that's pretty advanced. Like she's very verbal, like she understands pretty much everything, but then she also can really tell us a lot, which is really cool and um, she's just, she's very smart, I think. <laughs> so I'm gonna line my lips now with this MAC pencil and a morning coffee. And I'm gonna use this Maybelline lipstick. It's one of their bold ones, it's called Move It. I wasn't gonna do a bold lip with this, but I don't know. I thought I would do something a little different. All right, everyone, so that is it for this look and this little get ready with me. I hope that you enjoyed chatting with me while I did my makeup. I just thought that it would be a fun thing to do today. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this makeup look. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. I post videos every single Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.